Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare an Asian Roman dessert. We start with ingredients. We need eggs, honey, olive oil, milk and black pepper. First we grind the black pepper in the mortar. This recipe is part of the Reco Quinaria, the ancient Roman cookbook conventionally attributed to Apicius. It is included in the chapter called Dulcia Domestica, which can be translated as homemade sweets. These desserts are different and often simpler than other common ancient Roman sweets, usually prepared by bakers such as placenta and savillum that we prepared in previous videos. Another recipe we made from this dulce domestica is stuffed dates. You find the link in the description below. Pepper is quite common in ancient Roman desserts. We find pepper in seven out of nine recipes among Apicius Dulcia Domestica. Then we beat four eggs and mix them with a quarter of a liter of milk and a bit of olive oil. It is interesting to note that the author specifies the amount of eggs, milk and oil which is really rare in his cookbook. He uses for eggs one amina of milk, which is 270 milliliters, and one ounce of olive oil, 27 grams. The correct ratio of these ingredients is important for the outcome of the dish. The recipe is titled Ova Spongia Ex Lacte which means spongy eggs with milk, and the final consistency must be quite spongy. Among the dulcia domestica we find another recipe, almost identical to this one, in which the honey is added to the mix instead of being drizzled on top at the end. Now we pour a bit of olive oil in a pan and add a ladle of the egg and milk mixture. Honey is widely used in ancient Roman cuisine, often in small amounts to balance savory dishes and sauces. In this case we are preparing a dessert, so we need a good quantity of honey. Ancient Roman agronomists such as Varro and Columella wrote extensively about beekeeping. Columella tells us that the best honey is the one obtained from savory, followed by Timbra, a plant similar to thyme and savory, thyme serpillum, oregano and then rosemary. We let the ova sponge cook without turning them. When they are cooked, we remove them from the pan. At this point, the consistency is quite soft, but they will solidify a bit while they cool. Add a bit more oil if it is not enough when you pour another ladle of the mix. The author doesn't tell us which kind of milk to use. Cow, goat and sheep milk were all common in ancient Rome. This dish is intended to be served with the last courses of an ancient Roman banquet, called Secunde Mense in Latin. During the Secunde Mense, literally second courses in Latin, Desserts were served with fruit and nuts. We 
We serve the ova sponja, adding the onion on top and sprinkling a bit of black pepper. This step, despite being the last, is the most important for a good outcome of the recipe. The correct balance of honey and pepper depends mainly on the honey you use. A honey with a complex and intense taste can take more pepper than a light and delicate honey. This quick dessert, based on a delicate balance of flavors, is the perfect end to an ancient Roman convivium. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, or you're just looking for unusual and delicious recipes, please subscribe our channel.